think I speak for a lot of people when I say that John Hughes movies are awesome. For me, one of the things that Hughes movies have always done well is feature realistic characters. <laughs> yeah. I just called weird science realistic. Hear me out. I came to this conclusion a while ago after watching the Royal Ocean Film Society's essay, The Art of Teen Films, American Graffiti. In it, Andy Saladino explains why he thinks American Graffiti gets being a teenager. He makes a lot of points that I really agree with. However, he also points out that a lot of recent teen films carry a hipster cynicism to them. That kids don't talk or feel the way these films make them seem to. That got me thinking. Is he right? I mean, the scene he uses as his ideal example, that has its roots in The Breakfast Club, a movie that I've always thought did a good job at showing different social cliques interacting with one another. While films like American Graffiti and Dazed and Confused are pretty firmly rooted in reality, John Hughes' take on the coming-of-age story, which has in turn influenced the glut of other films, takes a much more melodramatic approach to storytelling. I'll be the first to admit that this take leads to less realistic stories, but I think the emotions that bubble to the surface because of this are much more realistic. Ferris Bueller, you're my hero. You could argue that in movies like Dazed or Graffiti, we're given more than enough information about the characters and their feelings to get the point across, and I'd be inclined to agree with you. But with these coming-of-age movies, we see the characters' emotions ramped up to the extreme. And what does this do? It makes us cringe, which, in itself, is high school. Teenagers are more or less a bunch of awkward hormones that get tossed in a blender and are expected to come out individuals. For them, every minute decision is a do-or-die situation. This is ridiculous, okay? I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, with, I'll go. Shit. There's so much pressure behind growing up, getting good grades, and socializing that teenagers often feel like they're carrying the weight of the world on their shoulders. Sometimes, they'll fail. But sometimes, they might succeed and walk out of the situation feeling like they can take on the world. Yep. I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. Some teen movies are concerned with showing life as though it's a documentary, but others are more interested with feeling life, getting in characters' heads and making sure that the audience is there with them. They bought it. I'm not saying either approach is better than the other. I'm simply trying to acknowledge the fact that there are a million different ways to approach these stories. When Ferris sings Twist and Shout at the parade, is it really that different from Friends cruising to Lowrider? I don't think so. Both scenes are about liberation. In the case of Ferris Bueller, it's about a guy trying to help his best friend cut loose and live in the moment. Emotionally, the other scene is doing the same thing. If the Hughes approach is a little larger than life, then it's only because that's what every high schooler wants in some way or another. Everyone wants to be the main character of their own lives, to be a showstopper, the talk of the town. While this style of characterization might be dishonest in terms of reality, the emotions behind it certainly aren't. This is something that a ton of classic 80s movies lived by. Footloose, Flashdance, The Karate Kid, Say Anything. These films and more got being young because they understood that life for these characters was about the little victories and how they made you feel larger than life. To some degree, I think that the slant way of portraying these stories is actually more grounded than a grounded story. But that's just what I think. I simply wanted to provide a counter-argument to what I believe was an amazing video essay. And I'm curious as to what you guys think. Do you think that one approach to portraying high school is overtly better than the other? Or do you think there's a place for both of them, 